You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. What's going on, everyone? My name is Arthur Kittle. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am playing as Arthur Morgan. I guess we're gonna go help Captain Monroe. What's up? Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all this. We are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now hmm. I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? To be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. And he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Hmm. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Hmm. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. So this Colonel Faith. <laughs> you knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well... Just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Hurry, Mr. Morgan! Yeah. I'm trying. Are you coming, sir? Yes, my horse was having a technical glitch. Stay with me, Dismount here. 
Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Ugh. Quick as you can. It will be passing through soon. Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. <laughs> In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. All I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. <laughs> uh, it was clean kill. I mean, how else was I supposed to do this? Alright, there was no other option. I mean, that didn't hurt me that much. Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh... It didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. <laughs> well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. So I got that done. I guess we'll go to... We'll do John. We're already up here. Might as well just do John real quick. Wow, look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful. Wow. Whoa. This is not what I had in mind. <laughs> Horace! Horace is a woman! Sir, please help me out of here. Thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, <laughs> ma'am. It's over now. Nice. Thank you. See you later. Nice folks around here. <laughs> yeah. All right, John, let's do this thing. Arthur, how you doing? Nervous, but I've been nervous for a while. Why is John still a here? Time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out—it just feels—I don't know. Like you're stringing us along. I know. <sighs> Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's That's like awesome he just funny. wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis when I got arrested. 
Maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can... You could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no way out of this. But what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> That's good. Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. We sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there and you lower the crates. Alright. You say so. Let me know when you're ready. Ready when you are. Got it. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. There's good. Lower it down. Okay, start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Okay, good. Grab the other one. A bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Honestly, like what I was saying before is I don't think, I don't know why John's still here, especially after Dutch kind of was like, hey, why are you back? You should have been hanged, okay. basically. I think I fixed it. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> that just ain't how I want to die. Come on. 
Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you really That's amazing. think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. What do you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money. Safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I mean, I agree you need to get out of there, but I don't think robbing do Dutch is going to solve anything. It's going to prove your legacy as a traitor. Now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, that looks like that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.